Hi, and welcome to Catherine's Low Income Prepping Slash Survival. Today is another one of the survival radio videos, and we'll talk about a couple of things. First of all, please like and subscribe. You can make comments either on here, or you can write me in an email to catdog6949 at gmail.com. That's C-A-T-D-O-G-6949 at gmail.com okay well the first things is as you can see i got the two radios going and i put these microphone holders in place to hold the microphones up off the desktop and over here to power the unit in bearcat i have this um, 30 amp diversity power supply and if you notice, it's got a couple of knobs on the front here, down here on the bottom where the white dots are. And that's uh, so you can detune noise if it produces any noises on your radio. And the one on the right there is to adjust you now those four plugins right here, there, so you can run in uh, power. And you can run in. I think it's 7 amps in there, and that is the cigarette lighter is 10 amps. And that cigarette lighter cord is, was with the Bearcat when I bought it. It goes up and goes into the back of it. Okay, so that's how I power that. I also installed, um, let me get this loose, power poles onto the... Um, RCI 29s, the Rangers radio. It's got a fuse and it's got a uh, 12. I'm trying to find it for you. It's hidden in there. There it is. It's got one of those three hole plugins, just like that one has over there. And I'll put this up. And so then I also made, uh, let me get this, a Jumper cable. Now there's going to be the jumper cable to go in to this plug-in right here, or actually this plug-in, and that's going to be 30 amps for the ham radio, which is going to go here, and uh, it's going to start out probably 20 because I'm thinking about getting the G90. But I also um, run power. It's AC in here, but that's what that 12 volt is for. If I want to run it off of here. The second one here is going to be for the 12 volt. Now it's got a 45 foot, uh, 45 amp fuse, and then it'll be 30, 30, 20, 20, 15, and 10 amps. Not that I would ever use all that at once. Um, but I have the uh, big radio hooked into this metal power strip, and I also have the computer hooked into that too. And computers down here in my desk. As you can see, the laptop is here. I just pulled this out far enough and I can um, get what I want. I had to buy this jumper cable. As you see, I got a lot I'm not using, but I was actually 10 to 11 inches short of uh, being able to hook in these speakers that I got up here for the computer. Oh, well. That's the way it works, and of course my keyboard there, but it has a keyboard on here too. Um, and I got one of these mouses that light up. So, um, I also picked up, I have oh, oh, just, uh, circle rings, or O-rings, to hook on to um, the power supplies poles. Uh, there's a red and a black one in the back, and they match up with the wire. And that goes into this um, power supply, fusible power supply. It's got Anderson power poles, and the fuses are up above that. I had to get another 30 fuse and a uh, 20 fuse and some 15s. So I have those as spares. And I also, to be able to use both radios, I also wanted it to switch so I can switch between the two radios as I want to use them. Just got to remember, always make sure it's switched to the correct radio before I key up. Ultimately, I'm probably going to put in an extra 
switch between this one and um, this radio to uh, allow me to hook in when I hook another antenna in. That's what I'm thinking. And um, or maybe even take this one off of that this antenna over here, which is what I got it on, and this antenna. That's what that switch goes to there. So it comes out of the radios, goes into that double switch down here on the bottom level, next to the power pole fuse box, and then you switch which view, uh, which radio you want, and it comes up. And it comes up and it goes into this side of the meters, comes out of that side of the meters, comes back down, and pops out between those two and goes into this switch. And then you got the orange tagged one is the, the black um, tram, uh, no ground plane. And this one here in the bottom goes over to the ham radio antenna. Now I am planning on maybe next month. Um, right now they're going to be cleaning and painting the outside of our building. And I'm thinking that next month what I'll probably do is um, move this antenna outside and put it on a painter's pole I have in the center of our table. I'm going to drill a hole in it. I'm going to make it like an umbrella stand. And I'm going to mount this one on there and give it a try outside because there's people who have used them and they seem to do pretty good. I know there's a lot of people on the forums and stuff that say that they're nothing but garbage, but I do hear really good with it. So I'm hoping that it will transmit at least within the city. And then I was thinking that after the first of the year and after I get most of this stuff for the station, I've still got quite a few little odds and ends to get. And i got to do it a little at a time because I can't afford a lot. I'm going to, if I hadn't gotten these used, I wouldn't have them. I'd only have one. Um, one of my plans is, oh, by the way, that's the jumper for the ham radio. I'm going to put power pole ins on the end of the ham radio, plug in in the back of it for 12 volt. Because that's all it's got to choose from is 12 volt. And I'm going to plug them in it, and I'm going to plug these into the strip. Okay, well, anyhow, I'm going to get a uh, small, I'm thinking about getting one of those 12 foot, one of those Procom 12 foot um, antennas with the ground plane built in. And, um, you know, it's got like four foot uh, ground plane radials at the bottom of it, four of them. And then it's got a 12 foot aerial. And a lot of people say they can't get it down to the SWR below two. But I'm pretty sure because there's ones that say they can and they make it work. So it's kind of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So I figure if I can't make it get down to where I need it, I'm just going to buy an MFJ or Comet antenna tuner and make it work. Because it's got to be bigger and better than this one. Uh, so who knows? We'll see. That'll be a good experiment. And I can always send it back if it doesn't doesn't work out and trade for the, uh, go put a little more extra in and get the A99. Um, thinking about doing that too in the first place. But so we'll see what happens. So my whole idea with these is that I'll have local communications. If there's a uh, power outage, I intend to, down here, I intend to, on the shelf, I intend to put in a uh, couple of batteries and um, with solar panels that will charge them. We're actually going to set the station up for the solar charging in, the, in Tammy's room over there. And we're going to just be able to pick up the battery and move it in here and just hook a wire up to go up towards this power strip and have a two-way switch, one to go to the power supply and one to go to the uh, battery, which will, of course will be charged on the solar panels. And then when I'm done using this with the battery down here, I'll uh, take it and put it back in the other room and plug it in to be charged. And I figure that way we can also have a little power station there to charge our phones and our 
uh, computer laptops and tablets free of charge because you know electricity costs money and we'll see how well that works out I yeah. come up to make my oh there's Tammy hello everybody hey, everybody have a great day you too here's the vacuum thank you she brought me the vacuum because I made a mess over there yeah so anyhow I hope everyone likes the radio stuff and um, you know um, you just uh, bear with me. Sometimes I forget which number I'm on. This was actually uh, made before I made the 192 video for the food. I just get spacey sometimes. So please bear with me. I don't do it deliberately now. Remember to like and subscribe. And I just wanted to mention, you know, I'm never going to ask for anything from anybody that watches my videos. I don't believe in that. I'm not going to sell anything unless I decide to sell a radio and get a different radio or something, you know. Uh, I'm not going to ask for that because I won't be able to, if I do buy something and I want to do a, um, a check it out and do a report on what kind of condition it is and how it works, I want to be able to do a fair and honest one. And if you're getting paid by somebody, it's just not a fair and honest um you can't give a good review. I mean, it's just as simple as that. And I'm not a clickbait person either. So, I hope you're enjoying this. I went a little over. Please give everyone you love a hug. Tell them how much you love them. Stick up for your rights. I always say that because people just say, Oh, well, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Stick up for your rights. Remember, don't give up. Fight back. That's the best thing you can do. Get what you want, live your life the way you want, and be happy. Love you all. Y'all take care.